Okay, hi guys. So, um, this is gonna be my first voiceover ever. I even got new headphones just for this speaker part. So, yeah. Right now, I'm just clearly bullshitting in this video. But what it's really gonna be is me dyeing some bundles. Why am I acting like I didn't start this already? Okay, so yeah, me dyeing bundles. Basically, I'm showing everything that I'm using to do this process so right now i have some blonde 613 bundles that was gifted to me by my cousin thank you ashley um i'm gonna ask her where she got this hair from and then link it below but i'm you can see i'm using this um semi-permanent color jet black by kiss i would not recommend this if you want black okay and you'll see why later on so yeah i'm showing you that next i also show you conditioner a mixing bowl and like a little hair brush applicator um so yeah that's my ingredients also yeah you're gonna need gloves hell yeah you're gonna need gloves because these bundles are going from blonde to black so definitely necessary but I'm doing the fucking most in this video my goodness so yeah, I'm just gonna let you watch. Hopefully I'll learn how to insert some music in here. I'm trying to get better at this editing, you guys. But yeah. Um, so yeah, you can just see my mixture here. I'm really just diluting this hair dye. And I don't know why I did that because it's already semi-permanent. Um, because really this dye is like a blue-based black. So whenever I diluted it, it really just turned into like a navy blue, which is not what I wanted, but you know, it was still cute. So yeah, putting my gloves on there, extra, um, keep an extra pair of gloves. Definitely. That's what I'm showing you guys. So yeah, I'm just mixing, mixing it up, I'm trying to act like a scientist here. Ugh, I'm fucking ugly as hell. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. Okay, now I am opening and spreading my tracks. Basically, I'm making it to where the hair is just one layer thin. That way I can get ready to paint the hair dye on. I'm not dipping it. Um, and I'm about to show you guys what it looks like once the dye has been sitting on the hair. So that's what it looks like. And as it sits on there and soaks in, it will get darker. So I'll show you guys along the line later how, um, you know, the dye looks once it's been sitting. But I'm just showing you guys that I'm brushing it on there. Um, you know, I'm just doing this for show. I don't know why I'm acting like this. But yeah, I'm trying to figure out this background music shit too. Because, yeah, y'all hear the music that's playing right now. But um, I'm going to try to fix it. I might not be able to though but yeah just keep watching the video keep enjoying um it's literally me just dyeing the hair okay I didn't really spread this piece there you go I'm finally spreading it like dumb bitch I should have don't be like me literally open up your tracks and like spread it but I'm trying to tell you guys that I'm getting every single piece of the hair including the roots um so yeah Okay, I changed the background music, y'all. Um, basic YouTube status. I also sped up the clips, so hopefully that helps. But um, right now, you just see me combing it with my fingers. You should really be combing with a comb to distribute it really, really even. And, um, you know, I think, I believe I should. Well, I don't know why I'm wrapping it up like that, y'all. I thought I was going to do something else. But I am about to show you guys the comparison. You see how that one's been sitting on the hair? It is darker than the one I just put on the hair. So that's what I meant earlier whenever I said it would develop a little bit. Even though it is semi-permanent, it will still develop. So, um, you know, you just see me. I don't know why I'm folding my tracks, but don't be like me. Um, so yeah, I just hope you guys like this background music that I provided now. 
Um, if you have any editing tips, leave them down below because I'm actually trying at this now. But um, yeah, I'll let you keep watching. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Here we are to the good part. So let me talk about this a little bit. I'm showing you guys. It's a kingpin. This is the um, card. Let me go get it. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I got it, y'all. This is the King Louis OG 1000 milligram Indica. Um, you know, this is just a regular old king pen. It comes in a box. It comes with a lot of type of, um, you know, instructions and information on the box. I'll show you guys later, but right now I'm just hitting this hoe. I'm counting on my hands. I don't know why I'm counting the seconds. But um, fun fact, on this box it literally says like a... A regular dosage is three seconds. So I'm a fucking fiend. But yeah, I'm just taking a quick smoke break on that hoe. <coughs> Coughing. <coughs> yeah. Still have a little bit of it left too, but... Yeah. It's really nice, and I really do recommend these king pens. Um, you know, if you're going to be smoking out of a cart or, uh, you know, hitting a wax pen, something like that, I recommend king pens. I also recommend brass knuckles. Those are two OG strains. Okay, yeah. Showing you guys more hair. I don't know why I keep rolling them into balls. But I feel like the dye just spreads easier. Distributes. Yeah. And just keep doing what I was doing. I think I got happy because this was my last piece. Yeah. Okay, here I am about to elaborate on this king pen and show you guys. This is the box that I'm looking at now. You see, King Louis OG. Um, I'm just showing you guys for demonstration purposes how it comes, but. At this point, I had already opened it and, you know, taken it out and everything. But, um, yeah, that container was really hard to open. Why the fuck am I looking like that? Okay, I'm comparing it to an old Kingpin cart that I got maybe, um, I'd say a year, six months ago, something like that. But, yeah, you can see the other one just comes in a straight cart, but, um, the King Louie comes with its own box, so, you know, I thought that was a little more fancy. I'm showing you guys how it looks and it does have the king louis face on it i think that's pretty cool and unique so yeah okay here I am, about to hit it. There we go. Yeah, I'm about to hit it right now too. Two thumbs up. Here I'm showing you guys all the um, instructions and information that they provide on the back of the box. I really do like that they add that touch because, you know, um, some people actually want to know more details of what they're smoking without having to look it up on Leafly or anything like that. But, you know, I'm just showing you guys a close in Paris comparison. My light was kind of bright here. But, um, yeah, I really do highly recommend this right here. I have been hitting this hoe, you know, quite a bit this day. I was kind of geeked. So yeah, I'm just wondering when this clip is going to end. I guess I'll hop off. Y'all, I was feeling like a boy, so that's why I took my hair down. I was looking kind of manly. But yeah, here I am trying to, trying to get a thumbnail. Struggles, YouTube struggles, y'all. Y'all already know. All 27 of y'all, for real.
press my chariot and get ya. The doors open now. Take the high road and hop in now. You open now. Hit you on BBM. We should be close and friends. If you open now. And take the high road and hop in now. You know, I have baby lungs in this clip, but here I am showing you guys three hits, you see? And then that one is five, so, you know, for that King Louis, three hits would be the dosage, the ideal dosage. But, you know, my stoners know that shit ain't cutting it. But yeah, I think this clip is about to end, so I'll catch you guys in the next clip and show you guys how the hair came out. All right, here it is. Why the f I don't know why I'm recording that, y'all. Oh, I actually, I'm recording that to show y'all how much hair fell out. So here I have the hair laid out, and I'm going to zoom up really close and show you guys how the color actually turned out. I'm showing you guys that y'all should have it all separated like I do. Laid out flat. You can see that the color is like navy, especially right there. So, yeah. This is the next clip, work, and I'm about to get off this now. This portion, I'm just going to be talking, not doing a voiceover. Um, this is my first voiceover, so let me know. But this is how the hair turned out. Um, you know, as I mentioned earlier, you see how it's like blue? Um, because the dye I used was a blue-based black. So whenever I diluted it with the conditioner, on top of this being very yellow 613 hair, you see... It came out very blue, so you would need a, a more neutral black. If this hair wasn't as yellow toned as it was, some more of the deepness from the black might have picked up. But what I plan on using this hair for is like an extended ponytail, so you know I'm still gonna do that. Even though this shit looks kind of green, some of it. But you know, towards the end I was running out of dye. I just want to come back and show you guys how it looks. Now I'm brushing it out. And when I put heat on it, the color is going to kind of uh, fade a little more as well. As I showed you guys, this is semi-permanent. So if I wanted like a really deep black color, I would have had to use a permanent dye. But I did dilute it with conditioner, so that took a toll. But you can see this was really dark. This was like really bright 613 here. But, um... Yeah, so that's all I have for this video. It's just like a little quick hair dyeing. It's kind of a fail, but I just wanted to record it. You know? Ooh. It's like super blue. It's like blue jean. Cute though, but I'm gonna still use it. Hold on. Let me see how this will look. like that I think but yeah I'm gonna try to insert a picture I'm gonna try okay I'm gonna hit this pen one more time I know this ain't the strain I was using yesterday but Water's nice and cold too. <laughs> if you know from my last video, you know my audio's fucked up, but I said, all right, you guys, take it easy.